just a quickie. Oh, wait till I've got it all perfect and ready. I'm not ready. I'm never ready. I'm always working on myself. So I'm a work in progress. And what I'm working on is my birthday's on Sunday and I wanted to do a review. What have I been doing? What's happened in my life? since I retired two years ago, my knee operation, my rehab, my thinking into results course, my self-image that I'm still working on. And because I'm still working on my self-image, I want to present something really good because even as I paint my picture, as I write my script, my dream life, what I would want to do, it already is. It already is. A dream life. I have already done so much. Let me pull up that document that I've been working on. Oh, why did I, did I close actually everything? Well, a dream life come true. Was, I was even going to change the title. Okay, so I've changed, I've, I've written the scene. I've taken out a lot of the descriptive stuff because it's all about me. So I don't even know, is this really the text I want to use? So what I'm doing, you know, this is my work in progress. I'm learning by doing. I figure I ought to use my to-do list much more. You know, Bob Proctor says when you want something, write it down. When you don't want something, write it down and burn it. Because when you know what you want, when you know what you don't want, when you've identified where you're at and where you want to go, you've got a clearer path. And it's much easier for your mind to set that path up. And Bob talks about the frequencies. You imagine yourself there where you want to go and you put yourself on that frequency and automatically things start coming together. Things start to fit together about what you want to do, where you want to go. So I was working on my um, life on describing who I am. Okay, so there must have been another document. Let me just check out. Um, no, I don't know what what it was. Um, I know <laughs> that I was already writing about where I've been, where I've come from. So it must be in, in my story here, in my script, my movie script. It's... Um, Why can't I find it? Wow, it's amazing. I've had uh, auto recovered. So has the computer restarted? That is possible because it looks like everything is closed. So maybe I need to go the auto recovered um, and look at that because that's got it. Yeah, this is it. So it, I had not saved it. Mamma mia. So um, I'll save. This is a recovered file that is temporarily stored on your computer. Self six auto recovered. I save it. Okay, I'll give it a new name. I'll call it seven. So I'm keeping copies of my versions. Is that a good idea? You know, I'm an archivist, librarian type of thinking where I want to keep all of the files. Not a good idea when you keep everything. Not necessary. So even now when I was moving all of my, many of my photos into the file because I wanted to do a bit of a progression, how I've developed, you know, I've learned to love myself. I have. I look at photos of myself with my broken teeth and my hair that I didn't like. I was younger and I think I look better now than I did then. This learning to love yourself is just so amazing. Now, you don't even have to love me, but I know it's true. When I love myself, you will also love me because I just radiate something totally different. And when I love myself, I, I want to give that love. I give it out. I give it further. So, okay, I'm going to save this document. So much going on in my mind, you know, my mind is racing at a hundred miles an hour. So 
my movie, my life movie. So that's what my script was going to be. And I was just using the previous script, which was called A Dream Life Come True. Okay. We exercise six in the thinking into results is be the star of your movie because it's your life. Don't just play uh, a, a walk-on or a role of a of a somebody else, of somebody of a. What am I thinking in German? Nebenrolle, you know, um, because actually I listen to Bob's lectures in in English. So have you figured it out? I'm I'm living in two worlds, German and English. Okay, so instead of a dream life come true, my my script is called something more like um ma <laughs> no I, I guess I haven't got the title so what I'm discovering is it's really good to write lists now I I realized this years ago I love making lists and it was one issue I think when Joseph and I first met I wanted to have our accounts all recorded and my whole family makes fun of me because I wanted our bookkeeping to be recorded, you know, so I kept every receipt and wrote down all of the little expenses. Well, maybe that was superfluous, maybe that wasn't necessary, but we survived and it wasn't easy. It really wasn't. It was only when I started working at the UN and not the first few years either that was still difficult, especially when they took out my whole pension fund requirement out of my... The, in one lump, the payment that I had to make for the first six months when I was working at the UN when I only had short term contracts. And then I was demoted from a G4 to a G3. You know, I was just a G staff. And I used to even be ashamed to say, I'm just a G. A lot of my colleagues thought I was a professional because I am a professional. I was, I am the subject matter, matter expert when it comes to contact management. I was in those meetings to help fix the eight issues in the contact management and I don't believe they've even fixed it now. And I really subscribe part of that to the fact that they didn't listen to my suggestions. I am the subject matter expert and I mustn't call myself just a G staff, just a retiree, only a mother, a stay-at-home mum. I was a stay-at-home mum for 10 years. And during that time, I helped Joseph in his office work as he was a traveling salesman and would call me up and ask me to find his customer files to check out the phone number of a person or, or an address of somebody who he couldn't find the place or he wanted to find out whether they would be home or not. So that was while taking care of five little kids and supporting my husband in his sales work. Then we did the total role change and I went out to work and he stayed home. These are my stories, you know. So what I started writing, um, let me just read it to you. My life movie takes an average, ordinary suburban girl growing up to immigrant parents in post-war Melbourne and catapults me into the international stage of United Nations, international relations, nuclear security, and shows that we each have a role and can make a difference. When we dare, when we dare. So it's not just about me, it's about you. It's about us. Describing the parents as the root and source of our nature and nurture. Showing early qualities of journalism, scientific exploration. And I think about walking around the whole gap with my shoulder bag. I must have been seven or eight. And I had a, a square, a box type bag, a shoulder bag that I carried around with me all the time. And it had a journal in it, a pen, and a camera. And I went everywhere with that bag. And I took photos and I wrote things down. Curiosity, 
to tomboyish tenacity. Creativity, learning to ride on the boy's bicycle because I didn't have one. All of my four brothers had a bicycle. I didn't. Culminating in a rebellious escape from home at the age of 17 to move into a flat with former school colleagues to buy a motorcycle and then to sell it again to get a deposit for my trip to Europe. At that time, none of my friends even considered traveling. That was the early 70s and I was the first in my whole crowd of influence to travel. Now it's very, very normal. Discovering new horizons with a job in Switzerland where the temptation there was to stay on because I would have received a permanent residence, the right to work anywhere. I would have had to stay in the one job, in the one canton for a 12-month period, and then I would have been mobile and could have worked anywhere in Switzerland in any sort of a job. Discovering new horizons with a job in Switzerland, visiting relatives in communist Czechoslovakia, remember that was 1973, and reflecting on the meaning of life, during long hours of night duty on a private ward in a nursing home and long days with time to travel to discover the wonders and sights of Europe. So I often had up to four or five days off because my work schedule was sometimes six, seven days, sometimes even up to eight days in a row. And so then I often had five days off and I could travel. So I came, for example, to here to Vienna to meet Helen Malakowski, who was working at UNIDO at that time. And I also visited my relatives in Czechoslovakia and traveled around Switzerland, Zugspitz, Interlaken. Yes. At age 21, returning back to Australia, feeling accomplished and invincible, as you do at 21, but I was particularly so, at the self-perceived peak of Maslow's Pyramid, a 180-degree turn around to abruptly end the promising nursing career to join the Unification Church and become a full-time missionary. 20 chapters later, so this is where I'm telling you, there's lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of stories in there. And... Yes, I'll start to tell them. Now living in Austria, mother of five sons, all Vienna choir boys, spent 10 years as full-time mother and carer, suddenly full-time working mother, as husband takes over household duties, that's what I told you before, commutes to the city of Vienna from a rented country home enters the United Nations as an NGO representative for Women's Federation for World Peace and becomes Secretary of the Drugs Committee associated with the United Nations Office of Drugs and Crime. And this is where I got distracted. Presents the NGO statement to the CTBDO conference. I think it was 2007. And I was looking for the photos. So, you know, my project, organize my photos. I've got this new computer now. I'm set up in my new office with a um, good computer and enough room for programs that I want to work on. I wanted a better video editing program and I want to have all of my photos accessible. So I've got photos in lots of different places and now when I look for that particular photo quickly I can't find it. So I've used a lot of time to Day. It's 11.30 on Thursday and tomorrow we're going on holidays. We're going for a long weekend to a spa resort. And yes, I do have lists and things I want to do and I wanted to make a video. So is this what I wanted to do? It wasn't what I was thinking about, but I think I'll post it anyhow because what do they say? Better done than perfect. <laughs> this is not what I had planned. But I had planned to do something, so I'm going to share this now. I don't know how long this why It doesn't show me how long I'm speaking. I should set my timer on when I do these things. So I'm continue blogging 
vlogging and I'm going to make my list when I'm going to publish, when I'm going to post, when I'm going to share. I'll let you know. You can see I'm not perfect, are you? <laughs> yes, you're going to remember me for my laugh, for my encouraging positive spirit and I'm going to be motivating and sharing and inspiring and let's get on with saving this world and building heavenly parents holy community okay see you next time